You're about to listen to the unadulterated word of God from Reverend David Kakati. My coming here shall not be in vain. Let the purpose of God be executed in my life financially materially maritally in my work and in my salvation in the mighty name of Jesus Amen please be seated you are reminded that the baptism will be coming up this Saturday so if you are one of them you see Brother John, after the service, and then you feel your form. It is a walk and one, your pong, or some ya, not so some by we ya, brother John, not Joe Crat and natural trosso. Amen. Amen. By six AM Saturday, we will leave here. See no Siano, Papa Pepper, move a fear, say. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last year, we left some people behind. Say, I fear, Chairman, no Mujan Crow, for be watching because they were late. Sounds so more mountain. So, in life, anytime you like going to places late. You may be left behind. I pray that going to heaven, you will not be left behind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have been praying, we have been fasting. We are taking command in the realm of the spirit. We must also think. And we must also plan. As we are praying, we are fasting. All evil oppositions are silenced. All the obstacles they are putting on our way are cleared. Now, after all the obstacles are cleared, you have to take a decision to move forward. You have to take a decision to do the right thing. You have to plan to take the right steps. Now you have prayed. Obstacles are cleared. Then you are doing nothing. It means you will not make progress. Amen. So in the evening services, we are learning some practical things. Amen. 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 So we're talking about ideas. How to develop, how to get ideas. Because it is when you implement your ideas that you will break through or you will succeed. And we said the ideas will come as a flash. If you don't capture it. You cannot use it. So it calls for attention. And it calls for alertness. So that when God brings an idea, you can grab it and make use of it so that you can succeed. At times when ideas come and you use it, it is like a seed that you have planted. Doesn't mean that immediately you implement the idea, then you have broken through. It takes time. So you keep working on the idea. You keep working on the direction. And then God will begin to bless it. Then it will begin to become big. Amen. Amen. That is how. The thing works. So one of the things we learned is that you have to invest time to think. We, 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 we read that Jesus went to the mountain to sit down. He was not praying. He went there to sit down. He was thinking. Matthew 15:29. He, he was thinking and he was planning. And he was reasoning. So if you don't have time to reason, you will not experience a change. So you have to invest time to reason. To 
Amen. Amen. So before you can have an idea, you have to think and you have to reason. As you are thinking and you are reasoning, then ideas will come out of it. And so there is the need for you to learn to separate yourself at certain times of the day. Because if you don't learn to separate yourself, you will not be able to reason well. Amen. Amen. And so the Bible says that through desire, a man separates himself so that he can contact wisdom. So Proverbs 18, verse 1. Proverbs 18, verse 1. He says that through desire, a man will separate himself and begin to interact with all wisdom. So it doesn't matter how strong your desire is. If you don't know how to separate yourself, to reason and to think, that strong desire will produce nothing. After, after some time, it will disappear. Amen. Amen. So if you want to amount to something enviable or something attractive, learn to separate yourself, set time apart to reason and to think. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so when you set yourself apart and you begin to think and you begin to reason, ideas will begin to come and then you begin to have solution. And so you begin to think this thing, this situation, there must be a way out, there must be a solution. There must be a solution. You are saying all these things in your mind. As you are sitting down alone in your corner somewhere, and then God will give you an idea. God will give give you a direction. God, uh, it will drop into your mind the way out of that predicament. That is why God has given every one of us 24 hours. And so everywhere in the world, time is very, very important. No matter how busy you are, nobody has been given more than 24 hours. No matter how busy you are, God has, not, God has not given anybody more than 24 hours a day. So nobody has more time than the other. All of us have the same amount of time. 24 hours. How you become some years from now. How great, how great you become some years from now. Is determined by how you use your 24 hours God has given you. So what will bring the difference is that. Some people are wasting the time. Others too are spending the time. And others are investing the time. It is those who are investing the time they will get something powerful great out of it you are investing your time means you are using your time for something that is productive so you don't just spend your time not that you just waste the time you have to invest the time put it into something that will produce after some time to come if you don't invest your time and you are just spending it and you are just wasting it you will not have anything to show for your life. Say, I am thinking. Say, I am thinking. Say, I am thinking. So, the more time you give to reasoning, the more insight you will have. And the more result you will get. The more time you give to reasoning, the more insight you get. And then the greater result you have. Amen. Amen. Oh, I said amen. Amen. So time is very, very 
valuable. We must not abuse our time. When you start investing your time, it makes you an inventor. Inventor. When you start investing your time, you, you, be, you, be, you become an inventor. It, it makes you creative. You become innovative. You bring out new things that people have not taught or people have not done. So you may be in the same profession. The same career with others. Every time you are coming out with something new. Because you are reasoning. Because you are meditating. Because you are thinking. It's very very important. The top is open. And it is free. But you have to make your way there. The top is open. And it is free. But you have to make your way there. The ground is choked. A lot of people are on the ground. But the top is free and open. Only few people are able to make their way to the top. You need more than speed to get to the top. You need more than speed to get to the top you need more than speed to get to the top you need speed plus up thrust a force called up thrust to get to the top praise the lord hallelujah I believe you are learning something. And so, if you want to get more ideas, set time apart to sit down calmly and begin to meditate. Calculate your options and then begin to plan your life. Hallelujah. Amen. So wherever you want to get to in life, you have to plan it. You have to organize your ways on how to get there. You have to organize your working hours. Make sure that inside your working hours there is a time for reasoning and there is a time for thinking. When you start thinking and when you start meditating, produce things that bring improvement and your value will increase when you start reasoning and thinking you produce things that bring improvement and your value will increase amen amen and so any time you decide to think, what you are doing is that you are you are making a program to bring improvement. God is no respecter of persons. He loves everybody. Anybody that plays according to the rule, a person will move forward. So be biara or yen or na de sani as or yano in panobekwani. In Proverbs chapter twenty two verse twenty nine. Proverbs chapter twenty two verse twenty nine. The Bible says that if you see a man that is diligent in the work he is doing, he will not stand before ordinary people, he will stand before great people. So if you want to be great you don't joke with what you are doing be serious with what you are doing don't do it anyhow if you want to be lifted in life you have to be serious and be diligent if you want to be lifted in life attach some seriousness to whatever you are doing whether you are a student whether you are a trader whether you are an artisan you must attach seriousness to what you are doing Amen. Amen. David has some people in his army. They were so skillful. If you if you hold 
one hair of a woman like this. That slim hair. Take one hair of a woman, hold it like this. You can fire the arrow and arrow will hit. So obey to me at your journey, your journey boss. I meet you. That was how skillful they were. So now now to me, you need to make. They don't miss their target. So the Omudu Omani best is no Omu to me ayen. They don't miss their target. The Omudu Omani best is so Omu to me ayen. Fire the arrow. That's why. That's why David didn't miss Goliath. Was able to get the forehead direct. And but everywhere was covered. And nothing at David was to be sure Goliath and Momaswa, it went to a born was and covered and protected. No, I cover the baby up, but there's only a small hole somewhere. But see, not to cook a crab in the because the guy has. Has practiced a lot. And he, has, he has developed his skill in what he's doing. Was able to get a small hole. So if you are doing something and then. You don't, you, you don't develop the skill in doing the thing. It is a way you be be na se. So you na you want to say what man na ye ya, what you see ani ya. You be nothing. So who ya she? It doesn't matter how hard you are praying. And for one in pay bra we see me abo. You be nothing. Who ya she? You understand what I'm saying? So you have to attach skill to whatever you. It be be a way you be and say so this you who no be ever tell him. Knowledge is powerful. See him there. But you cannot market the knowledge. It is the skill that we can market. Knowledge is good. But you cannot market it. Knowledge is good. But you cannot market it. It is skill that you can market. Amen. Amen. So skill is more than the papers and the certificate you are having. And the acquiring of a so we are worthy and we win ya. As you say, a better now one. As a skill is more powerful, more productive than your certificate and the papers you are having. As you say, so I win now one. I would be a worthy one. To me, we must see we win the one. And now say we say we are better now one. I believe now one. Present your certificate and papers. So we now say a body criteria and a home criteria. And they give you the job. Now say the job man now one. They are waiting for you to display your skill on the job. Oh, but when we say you are able to me, I am not done. I am not done. So if you are not able to display your skill. Your certificate cannot deliver you. And this is how we see when we went to me and throw me so bad to me, Iya. So body crack and any other bad to me, Abu. And you will lose the job. Now for you, Juma Nabo. You will lose the glory. Now for you, Nyam Nabo. You will lose the position. Now for you, Dibra Nonso Abu. Amen. Amen. So when we are talking about skill, it is a kasafa. So you are not going to pass your word. We are talking about tactics and strategies. Yeah, kasafa a point be strong. Kwa utimidi. That you employ to handle your assignment. Yeah, we now utimidi a short way. Juma na idea manu. Tactics and strategies. It's a point strong. Kumbi swa ufa. When somebody is a hairdresser, in hairdressing there are tactics and strategies in hairdressing. So obi eye tira ya wakwa strong. Kwa ya utimi adiye. In barbering, in barbering there are tactics and strategies. Ena eti ye usu sa ya wakwa ibi strong. Kwa ufa swa wadiye. In soccer. There are tactics and strategies. And about the bomb in society, your points are not so fast to the ball. Some, so in soccer, some some teams are defensive in style. And now, I'm not about ball. You want to fool me? I'm not about ball. No more buying the answer. They are defensive in style. I'm not about ball. I'm not about fast. I'm not about ball. A team like Chelsea, they are more defensive. So we were Chelsea. I'm the Abu Biano. I'm not about ball. No more buying. There are some teams like. Barcelona, they are more offensive. And ah, Barcelona for the Abu Dhabi, I'm on so the only thing for the team. They just want to score. I'm the only person I'm most sure. You understand what I'm saying? So in every field of endeavor, there are tactics. And the baby, I will hear you. The baby, I know you are fast. No one, you are fast. So the baby, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you don't develop your skill in life, it is how we see. We don't know where we see any here. You will not get any any result. Yes, we need no here, baby. You just be ordinary. We be here only for be a keke. Amen. Amen. And so the purpose that God has for you. And to but say a radio wa ma ono. If you don't develop your skill, that purpose has no future. And to say she a huna na radio di ama no se wa unsiyani ya wa bra bonenyadi abeti mi ayeni ya. Many people 
people know their purpose but they have not equipped themselves to, to deliver that purpose now, so so they know what they want to become but the skill to, to make them become it is not there because they don't want to learn it they don't want to, to understand anybody they don't want to sit down and reason plan or think amen Amen. Am I becoming canal? Am I becoming canal? Amen. I said you have prayed and you have fasted. Demons have been silenced. Now we have to think. I know what to do. So that we can move forward. Am I communicating to you? So no matter how great your calling. No matter your purpose in life, no matter how great your pursuit in life is, without, without skill, so we need so we need to achieve. Amen. Amen. So when you look at the footballers, some of them have skills. Ghanaian players have desires to be the top. Ghanaian players, they have desire to get to the top. And, but that desire cannot produce anything. They need skill. I will translate the desire. Become world champion. Amen. Amen. So in every trade there is a required skill. And it is the quality of your skill that will determine the quality of your output. The quality of your skill determines the quality of your output. So the quality of your skill determines your rate of productivity. And so without skill, you will lose your usefulness. Amen. Amen. Are you learning something at all? So in first Samuel chapter 16, verse 16. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 16. There is something I want us to look there. There was a man who was being tormented by demons. He was a king called Saul. No, your hina, your friend is Saul. And so he wanted to solve the demonic problem. So his people that were around him gave him an advice. He said, Let's look for a very skillful player. A skillful player who knows how to play the musical instrument. So that when the evil spirit come upon you, you will play it skillfully. And then you will be free from the evil spirit. So you even need skill to drink to deal with evil spirit. Amen. Amen. So go to the next verse. Verse 17. And so, so he said, Oh, go and look for, for go and look for a man that can play well for me. And bring him to me. So we are looking for people who can do the thing well. Not, not, not the people who are who are of uh, of a higher age. No, we are looking at it. We are looking at we are yes, looking at yes, ability yes. to do the thing. Yes, yes. So we are looking at the results. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. So look for him. Yes, yes. Nobody will look for you if you don't know how to do it well. Yes, yes. You will not become a sought after if you don't know how to do the thing yes, yes. well. So make sure 
that there is an area of life that you know how to do something well then they start looking for you and you become a sort after praise the lord Hallelujah. so continue so then one of the servants said oh i have seen a son of jesse very skillful in playing and he's a mighty man of battle and he's very wise in matters and the lord is with him and so the lord is not just with him but he's also skillful when the lord is with you and you don't develop your skill you will not be needed. Are you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know where your area is. What is your area? When God created you, what is your area of something that you can do? Develop it. I'm I communicating to somebody? So no I said develop it. Then something good can come out of your life. Papa be few Amen. 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 Yes. So you have to develop the skill. You have to develop the skill. When you come to Christianity, we don't want to talk about skill at all. And because of that, many of us have been left behind. You have been pushed backward in life. Because life is not only spirit. Life is spirit, soul, and body. Are you understand what I'm saying? So the spirit is one part of life. So you develop the spiritual part. Then you have to also develop the soul's part. Then you develop your physical part. Then you are becoming complete. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Some people have become so spiritual that even they don't know how to dress. Because of spirituality, it has put the way they dress that no man wants to even propose to them. So they are using the spirituality to spoil their marital chances. Am I talking to somebody? So no be And men too, they like beautiful things. Because they are moved by their eyes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you may be a holy woman. Very righteous. But you don't look good. Though they like your righteousness. But they like your godliness. But so your look is putting them off so they are not able to reconcile the things amen amen may you not be left behind in the name of Jesus and so every time we are looking out for some demon that is responsible for our problem you are looking for some demon. The demon has been silenced. You have been paralyzed. What is left now? It's for us to think. Amen. Amen. That is what is left now. For us to think and for us to plan. You have gained authority and you have gained the command over the demons. The way is now open. What is left is for you to make some moves. That will lift you. And stop looking for that demon. But he cannot come close to you again. He has gone far away. The fire has driven him away. The power has driven him away. He is afraid of you. And he's going to hide somewhere and he's looking at you. You don't know what to do. When you start meditating, when you start, you start producing ideas. Your life will move forward. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Am I talking to you at all? Do you want to be promoted in life? Develop your skill. And you will see who no see be be found. Amen. Amen. God taught me something. See a radical me be be. You just ask me say how much problem do you solve for your bishop? I say or how what he na we hear no more so for pon. Yes. He said if you want to be valuable to your bishop, solve problems for him. I say solve person who some be more so for pon there. Any shall say say who he hear or how be a no man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are times men of God. Are looking for somebody that will solve a particular problem that will do something, and everybody is looking somewhere else. Because once you solve problem, you become valuable. So let your thinking be that. Let me look for a problem and solve. It is my wife doing your same. I mean, she show how be na miniano. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In football, goal scorers are the most expensive. Into ya wa ball bom no mo mutimi she no. Omo hu omo 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 bo ade. But the problem, the problem is who will let us win the match? Who will let us win the match? That's it's a problem. Omo hu o ha wa no. Omo ni the problem. Why am I asha go? Why am I asha go? Omo hu isa o ha na. They are more expensive than defenders. Into no omo omo bo ade pa. Esi omo omo ni. They have more money than midfielders. Omo o si kapa. Si omo omo o si kapa. It's a problem. Or how can see a pan? Omo ni iya no. He must be a problem solver. You must be a contributor. As I say, you will be a one so the be become. Not a consumer. And yes, I would you be this ah? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you want to excel, you must be an expert. Somewhere. So you be a with me ye be be. If you want to excel, you must be an expert in something. So per se, we call when you must say we yes you will power be be. If you want to excel, you must be an expert in something. So per se, we call when you must say we yes you will be be. If you want to excel, you must be an expert in something. So per se, we call when you must say we yes you will be be. Amen. Amen. And before you can become an expert, or before you get the expertise, you need training and personal development. Training or personal development. So you can all go to school. And you teach us the same thing. Now you try your idea back home. As accountants. Eh, ye yo bi a ye bu bunko. Or as managers. And now say ye did a bi bi anoi. But the personal development you add to your own is what will determine whether you'll be ahead of your. Now so say wan kasa ni a we si anu be timi di a ye bi bi ye no. Ene be chere ni a we be timi ye bi bi a. You all go for apprenticeship as. As seamstress or hairdressers. After you have been taught, the one who goes down to sit down and meditate on what they have been taught, you will get additional ideas. You will know more than his colleagues. Training and personal development. Training. So one kasa ye ubeti ye beti tu na one kasa nso ye bibia fa. We have all gone to Bible school as to be trained as pastors. Ye ni na ya ko inchere chere school ye bi sa sofu. But nso personal development. Nso sa one kasa ubeti sha ubeti ya wani ame ye no. Certain pastors have come here. I say sofu biya bahasi. Tell me they were in Bible school to learn something. When he when he sees something he doesn't know he will learn it. Because I dear back when I was seeing a few of our people, see Bibia, Bibia, we need Bibia. No, and also who Bibia, we see a Bibia film. Some men of some men of God is only anointing. Apart from anointing, they don't want to learn any other thing. I say, I mean, if any boy hold my, we young was refi on one person be seeing a Bibia. Amen. Amen. God shall give you skill. I said, God shall give you skill. In the name of Jesus. So it is what you can do that will sell. It is what you can do. It is what you can do that will sell. After the noise, what can we do? I'm talking to somebody. I said, after the noise. After the singing. What can we do? Praise God. Hallelujah. What can we do? 
What skill do you have? What are you an expert in? in? Praise God. Hallelujah. One lady called Oprah Winfrey. She said, Excellence is the greatest deterrent against racism. Excellence is the greatest greatest deterrent of racism 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 means that a particular race thinks that they are superior to another race they think they are superior to another race for example white people they, they think that we, we are lower than them. So we should we the so as our brother or your imagine say yeah yes or my say now some was so saying. Are you understand what I'm saying? What's in your work? Yes, and they know that they are better than us. Oh mean so I'm yes saying. Amen. Amen. And they know that they are wiser than us. Oh mean so I'm gonna see and only we are producing things. It's not so more yeah near man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we, we are killing ourselves. We are producing things. And we are killing ourselves. We are producing things. And we are pulling ourselves down. Praise God. Hallelujah. But they know they are, they are wiser than us. They are better than when they come here, we give them paper the same day fast. Back by they have papers, they can operate here. But so when we go there, say, we suffer to get papers. Oh my bah say ya now more monk crat or mass and sign no more yet man yet your cohon man yet the upper pray. Because his son say they know they are better. Oh my name so more yes, they know we don't deserve it. Oh my name say and some fata. Praise God. Hallelujah. But once you become excellent in what you are doing, I say now say niya wo ye no sa ube ube ye. They will respect you. Recently, a little boy was falling down from a building in France. He was hanging there in the, in the story building. How many of you saw that video? Uh, he was going to die, a little boy. He was a white man. They are white collar couldn't save the boy. They are wiseness above us couldn't save the boy. But there was this black man who came from Mali. He didn't have papers. He didn't have permission to stay in the land or work there. In France. He just, he just climbed the wall like monkey. He just climbed the building like monkey and, and went to the top. I want to save the little boy. Say excellence. Say excellence. Say excellence. Then on the spot. French president. I'm giving you papers. I'm giving you papers. From today. You don't belong to Mali again. You are now a France man. Are you answering what I'm saying? Yes. So it is your expertise that will sell. Excellence. You must always strive to excel. Are you understand what I'm saying? Yes. If you excel, your enemy will come for what you have. Though he hates you, he will still come for what you have. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid. God is changing your life. I said God is changing your life. I said God is changing your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where you are working, your level must change. Where you, where you are selling, the market must change. And they are saying that you have to be in this position for so and so number of years. It is minus you. And I'm saying, sell the blow. We say, sell what's in my mind. You have to be in this position for so and so number of years before you are promoted. And fear the answer. You are boy. Peja with the blow. You must change that law. I say, sell what's in my mind. What's in my mind? I say, you must change that law. I say, sell what's in my mind. By doing something that has not been done before. Sell what you be. I will be done. And your boss will say. 
I am changing this law. I am promoting this person. I, I, I don't know who I'm talking to. Somebody, your promotion is in the pipeline. Your promotion is in the pipeline. I said, your promotion is in the pipeline. It is in the pipeline. It is in the pipeline. It will manifest in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight. That every mistake of yours that will spoil your promotion. I take you out of it. I take you out of it. Every mistake of yours that will spoil your promotion. I take you out of it. In the name of Jesus. We are waiting for you to make a mistake. We are waiting for you to commit an error so that you lose that promotion. So that you lose that breakthrough. But I cancel it in the name of Jesus. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. You shall perform better. You shall do better. You shall excel in the mighty name of Jesus. You are receiving speed. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody shall be frightened because of you. I said somebody shall be frightened because of you. Because God is putting something upon your life. I said God is putting something over your life. It is the presence of God. It is the grace of God. It is the glory of God. It is the hand of God. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. God is putting it upon you. Somebody shall be frightened. Somebody shall be afraid. Because of you. Say, oh Lord, I have something from above come upon my life. In the name of Jesus, something is coming upon you. It is supernatural. It is supernatural. It is supernatural. It is supernatural. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say tonight. Divine ideas. Take over. Take divine ideas. Take over. Right now. In the name of Jesus. So my father. Let me flow. In ideas. That will transport me. To the top. Let me flow in ideas that will make me to overtake. Let me flow with ideas that will make me a force. In the name of Jesus, say let the ideas flow. 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 In the name of Jesus. The ideas are flowing. The ideas are flowing. What nobody will think about. God will put it in your mind. I said what nobody will think about. God will put it in your mind. And once you do it. You shall be lifted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. For more of these messages, follow us on YouTube, Paris Emma from TV, and on Facebook, BCI Dominion Sanctuary. God bless you for listening.